Teenage homicides are on the increase in Cleveland. The number of deaths has doubled since last year. Olivia Sparra has the numbers and tells us what's being done to change this. Two weeks ago, a man was shot and killed at a party, and a 15-year-old was injured there, too. R.J. Bearden was at that party. I was sad because it was my own cousin. His own cousin died. This 11-year-old has seen more crimes than most adults. He spends time here at the Boys and Girls Club on Broadway. Joseph Greathouse oh. is the club director. And the murder of a 14-year-old on Monday night was upsetting. Many of these teens here knew her. I mean, it's gut-wrenching, especially working with teens on a daily basis. So far this year, there have been 10 homicides in the city of Cleveland. The same time last year, there was five. <laughs> At this club, they want to prevent that. From three to like seven is, we know statistically where crime is high, where kids are just getting into stuff that they have no business getting in, into, um, and it's just unsupervised. But here they are supervised, and kids up to 18 years old come for free. The Boys and Girls Club has also taken over the Renegades football team. It's a place where kids can be kids, with no guns, violence, or even bad language. For RJ, it's been a godsend. He's being raised by a single mom, and here there are many people who help him want to live a life a child should have. It's more safer, and they care more about you, and they will protect you. While the Boys and Girls Club also offers counseling to teens, they let them open up about their troubles and try and work with them. But at the end of the day, Russ, they tell us if the parents don't do their part, there's really nothing they can do. Mm. Okay. Lydia Spara in the newsroom. Thank you.